Reading draws on many different cognitive processes at the same time, decoding words, understanding what they mean, creating mental pictures, making inferences, and many more. This can be a difficult task for students with learning disabilities or LDs. Many of them have trouble identifying written words, which can lead to difficulties with other processes like writing, spelling, and comprehension. To see how assistive technology, or AT, can help students with LDs, we visited a demonstration school in Ontario. Demonstration schools provide programs for students with special education needs who require intensive supports, such as students with severe LDs. Typically, students attend a demonstration school for one year and then return to their home boards. Here, AT is an important tool that helps students improve their reading skills and their chances of a smooth transition back into high school. Their goal is to be able to read when they leave here and we've had all of our students always improve in their reading scores. We have 200 minutes of um, reading. So between ourselves as the teachers and a computer program, they get lots of opportunity to practice their reading. Assistive technology has proved to benefit both the students and the teachers in their learning processes. For students, I would think, uh, I think of three big buzzwords that sort of connected, and that's uh, enable, enablement or enabling, um, empowerment, and uh, access. So that's really what uh, System Tech does here for uh, these students. It allows them to be able to access and participate in, in, in the curriculum, allows even the playing field if, if you be, um, and just allows them to be able to uh, communicate and get their ideas down. It has made it easier and faster than non-assistive technology. Assistive technology like Google Read and Write offers a variety of options that can support students with their reading in many different ways. You can use it to read tasks, to uh, kids can use the speech input to dictate their answers. They can use the dictionary, either picture or word, to look up words and create study notes even. Um, it can read PDF files to the kids or Word documents. It can, uh, the assistive technology can look at websites and read websites um, and define words on websites. So there's, there's a whole bunch of things that they can do, but also I think it's important for the kids to see us modeling. Um, so if we're asking the kids to dictate, then we model that. We've, we've done a good job of that this year. Um, so we have our headset on at the beginning of a lesson and we are dictating answers if we're correcting them. So the kids see adults using it and it just becomes something they do and a normal thing. For the students and teachers at this school, Google Read and Write has proven to be the best AT that suits their needs. It's easy to use, I think. I think you can do a lot with it. A benefit for home boards and the students' regular school is that it's also available at home which some other assistive technology is not. So they get all this great technology at school, but when they go to do their homework, nothing's available for support. With Google Read and Write, you can take it, it's there. It's web-based, so as long as you have an internet connection, you're good to go. It's easy to organize, too, in their, in their drives. It's easy to keep the kids organized, which is definitely an area of weakness for our students. And I think it's, it's pretty intuitive. A lot of the kids just have discovered some things on their own. It's affordable too, and uh, so it's a lot cheaper than, than other options. So if parents want to purchase it for, for at home, um, it's, it's generally uh, remarkably cheaper. It also too uh, encompasses a lot of different features that are available with, uh, with other AT. It has speech to text, it has text to speech, it has uh, voice notes that are available, it has highlighting features, it will read screenshot readers that will read a whole variety of different texts. I think that's really attractive to students as opposed to learn, having to use sometimes multiple different assistive texts. It's comprehensive. Google Read and Write I can use to teach the concepts to the students. I can use it for them to um, answer questions, so that's the comprehension of the content. Um, I can use it to assess their knowledge, as I was doing today with the geography test. I have used it for textbook. Um, for example, in math, when we were covering our data management unit, um, it's very language-based. There's a lot of words. Um, and math is supposed to be universal, um, so it's one of those units where if the student isn't a good reader, um, they struggle with the reading itself, which becomes a barrier to the math. For some teachers, using assistive technology was a learning curve. So it was brand new to me. We had some initial training at the beginning of the year, just kind of showing us an overview of it, I would say. Uh, but then a lot of it has been 
figuring things out as we go, as well having a teaching partner and teaching partners that use it. Um, we're able to share knowledge amongst one another, so you can learn that way. But some of it too has been the kids discovering things, um, which is great because then it gives them an opportunity to feel um, like they're the leader in an area which typically our students have not felt before. You have to go into it with the mindset of you're going to make a mistake and when that mistake happens hopefully there's someone else who can tell you how to do it right and so far I, I found that 100% of the time that's been the case. Assistive technology like Google Read and Write has boosted student confidence and has helped many students with LDs look towards their future careers. I'd say they're really proud of their work. Um, I think their experiences before too, they would be uh, not willing to share any of that with anyone or covering it up, not wanting it to be dis displayed in class. Now, however, they're very proud of it. They want to show it off. They want it posted. Um, they want to bring it home to their parents and I think that's brand new. I don't think our parents typically received a lot of work home, so self-esteem improves. Um, I think their own confidence. Uh, most of ours I know have talked about now building for the future. It took a lot of stress out of my learning too because I don't have to keep going back and making sure that I spelled everything right and the right words are in the right place. So uh, a lot of the students uh, are, are um, considering now a future of college. We've even had some talk university but college right now seems to be in the forefront of a lot of our students mind at least the opportunity to go where it wasn't necessarily before uh, and then we know that a lot of the colleges now offer assistive technology for the students as long as they can provide documentation that they will they will get the supports and we did do a class trip over to the local college and went through all of the, um, the assistive technology and the supports that they could get so then that also assisted them students to realize wow we can maybe I can go here. It is important to remember that while AT can offer support to students in many ways it does not provide an unfair advantage to students. And there's a I think sometimes a misconception among uh, teachers and among other students when they see a child using technology that they have a leg up on others and that's certainly not the case. Uh, it doesn't do the work for them. Uh, there's still, uh, when you're using technology, there's still a, a learning curve that comes with utilizing that technology. Uh, so there's work to be to be done for that student that's using that technology. And uh, even when they they're able to use it and utilize it efficiently, um, it doesn't make their work better. Um, they still have to come up with the, the concepts and the ideas and they still have to, to put it down and, and actually execute. So um, that's sometimes a misconception I, I hear with, with technology that uh, the kids that are able to use technology or assistive technology in particular have an advantage over the other students and it's simply not the case. We're just evening the playing field. Assistive technology can be beneficial not only for students with LDs but for all learners. There's a whole bunch of different features that are uh, beneficial to a whole variety of learners. I think what you'll find is that when it comes to AT especially, uh, at least we find, uh, students uh, will use what they need. So by providing it to an entire classroom uh, per se, you do one, one of the benefits of doing that is that you, one, eliminate the stigma. So we're not just providing it for students with a learning disability, we're providing it for all learners. And what you find too as well is um, students that need or really need certain features, say for instance the speech to text feature, will utilize that. The students that don't, that are capable of writing, uh, will use other features that uh, are more pertinent. I, I think if, if students can use the technology, they will become independent and they will meet with success. Like, the, And if they will try the technology and have the growth mindset, they and just keep trying technology till they find out what works. Assistive technology is essential to the teaching process at this demonstration school, but it is available and can be used in similarly beneficial ways at school boards across the province. Learning how to use AT with programs like Google Read and Write increases student self-esteem and improves their reading skills, which will lead them to be successful further in their future. For more information, visit our website at ldatschool.ca.